Howdy, howdy, howdy. Near the senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this another brand new day. A brand new day filled with, well, whatever days are filled with. Yay, yay, it's a good thing. Thumbs up for that. <laughs> it's definitely a good thing. Now, of course, for the Daily Shell from Washington, Weather Plague Rat and Spider Report. It is, in fact, raining right now. It is dark. It was later getting dark yesterday because, well, I'm going to have to save most of this for the Wahi story, but it was kind of sunny at some points yesterday. I say kind of because it wasn't really sunny. It was raining on and off. But toward the end of the day, the rain stopped and there were stars when I went out walking. And I'll continue with that story in a minute. But for right now, it is like dark and all that outside and raining. So, yay! Play Grat Report. Uh, I didn't see very many people at all outside when I went out walkies. And that's good. And when I got back and went to Safeway for a very short period of time, the people I could see were wearing masks. So that's a thumbs up. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we'll people will be doing more of that. Weather Plague Rat Spider Report. There was a gangly leg spider down in the bathroom this morning. Thumbs up for that. And amazingly, the garden spider in the corner is still in her web. And of course she's alive, remember? I keep saying it because it's true, spiders are, are hydraulic. So if their legs are out on their web, they're alive. Because when they die, of course, they just go Bleep. Everything curls in because there's no hydraulic pressure pushing their limbs out. Anything with an exoskeleton runs on hydraulics. It's not just spiders, it's all things with an exoskeleton. Thumbs up for that. Well, good golly, Miss Molly. <laughs> I'm going to start off with this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have been taking mass, ma as I try to find the, the tablet box, massive amounts of potassium. Because for whatever reason, even though I'm eating food, it doesn't like have enough potassium in it. And my legs are just doing horribly. But I've been taking those potassium tablets. Each tablet's only 2% of your US RDA of potassium. So I take eight to 10 of them at a time. Well, last night, I forgot to take some potassium tablets before I went to bed, but I figured I'd taken some during the daytime. I'm probably fine. I've had like the last two months, very little actual issues with my legs. My feet are still sometimes curling down and I gotta pull them up and I'll feel it, it, they, like they wanna cramp, but they don't. So I'm running right on the edge, even with all the potassium tablets I'm slamming. Well, like I say, I didn't do that last night. And so I went to bed figuring I'm probably gonna be okay. So at 1.30 in the morning, I rolled over and that muscle in my right upper thigh just cramped instantly. And I was like, ah! And it was horrific. And I finally was able to get it to let go. Well, by that point, I, I was hot and uncomfortable because there's just too much heat in the house. We have radiant heating. So I was too hot. I was sweating. I was uncomfortable. I needed to get up so I could take some potassium tablets. It was hard getting my shoes on because I have to swing my feet off the edge of the bed, at which point my legs start to, my feet from the knees down start to cramp if I don't have enough potassium in me. And both of my legs were cramping up hard and I, I couldn't straighten them out to get them into my shoes so I could stand up because they were cramping so hard. So finally I was able to get my shoes on and stand at which point they stopped cramping, but it was horrible. I took eight, eight? Yeah, I think it was maybe eight or so of these tablets. 16% of my US RDA. My legs are better. I was able to sleep. I can still feel that muscle in my upper right thigh going, oh, come on, I wanna. So I really gotta slam a lot of potassium tablets today. Ugh. Yay on that. And this, oh my god, this right here. I've talked about how I've got three zits growing inside of there. 
three bits of acne inside of there and a sleep apnea mask pressing on top of it. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a black spot right there on this one. And it's, oh, it hurts so bad. Thumbs up. <laughs> All of the problems that the flesh is heir to. <sighs> Yay. So, also on the list down here, I, I'm going to do this one first. This is a tale about why one part of it is, you know, don't believe everything you read, but that's not exactly true. What you need to do in certain situations is make sure you stay up on information so that you are, when you're talking, you're giving off correct information. My situation that I'm going to expound upon is less that I was saying things that don't believe everything you read and more, oh, I just needed to get correct information. These past couple times, I've been saying that antibodies only last 30 to 35 days. Okay, that was a situation where I had gotten it from like science sites, but that was older information. Current thinking on antibodies after you get the Kofefe bug is the antibodies last for five to seven months. That's good news. That's really good news. Yeah, five to seven months is only half a year. But if you're okay for six months, that's good. That's real good. If we can get a lot of people with six months worth of antibodies, that will do a huge job and hammering down this thing. Because if you got people with antibodies, they're not just going to be picking it up and passing it. And that's the problem right now. It is, it is so insanely contagious. You get five to seven months worth of antibodies. Oh, that is a beautiful thing. I have been not so happy about the idea of the vaccination because I had the older information of about 30 to 35 days. I feel a whole lot better about this. Five to seven months worth of antibodies? Yes. Definitely a thumbs up. So it was less in this case, don't believe everything you read and just make sure you stay up on the information. Don't just parrot things that you've learned and then stop checking up on it. Always be checking yourself, your own sources, as well as other people. So yeah, and I'm very sorry that people out there keep having to deal with the Kofefe bug. Wash your hands. I'm not talking about the people that are dealing with it. I'm talking about those people out there that are infecting people. Please wash your hands. Try not to touch your face. Wear a mask. The greatest, simplest thing that you can do just to save lives. Um, it's, you gotta stay up on the info and that, that's important. So thumbs up on that. Because I was called out in the comments, I now have better information and that's a good thing. So definitely a thumbs up. So, now that I've talked about those two wonderful things, <laughs> I did not go walkies as far last night. My legs were, were hurting. My hip, I can't, I've said this before and it's true. If the outside of your hip joints hurt, that's not your hips hurting. That's muscular pain, that's skeletal pain, but it's not your hip joint. I don't know what that symbol was supposed to, to indicate, but there we go. That is not your hip joint. Where your hip joints actually are is really close to where your groin is. If you have hip issues, it's going to hurt real close to your crotch. So if your outside of your hips hurt, it's not hip pain. It is just simple skeletal muscular pain. I can't remember why I was bringing all that up, <laughs> but it's true. Oh yeah, my walkies. When I went walkies last night, I'm gonna start off on this one because it is a full walkie story. When I started off walkies last night, I took my travel umbrella 
and I was thinking at first that I didn't really need it, and so it was kind of a hassle because I was carrying it in my pocket. It was a cold, hard wind with the stars out because when you've got no cloud cover, it's cold. You've got, you are just radiating heat straight out into space. A cloud cover holds the heat in. You're not radiating straight into space, of course. You've still got the atmosphere. It holds in and absorbs heat, but it is, you are still radiating outward. But you, when you've got a cloud cover, that holds heat in. First half of my walk, it was a cold, cold wind. And it, I mean freezing. It was literally next to freezing. Halfway through my walk, the cloud cover had come back and I had to unzip my coat and roll up my sleeves because it got warm. And of course, now it's raining. But, so I didn't even walk to Walmart. I walked up to where there's about the two and a half mile mark. There's a stoplight. A whole stoplight system and I walked there and then back because my outside of my hip joints hurt you know the outside of my body my knees were hurting it was just not good so I walked like five miles instead of six now here's something that I sincerely hope that people have watched too far enough I'm in a bad situation financially because I need to call up my insurance company. They had been previously only charging me like 65 bucks every six months. All of a sudden I'm being charged like 40 bucks every month. I had 30 bucks, well 35, almost 40 bucks to last the rest of the month to buy me food, to buy my cat food. Suddenly it's all gone because that happened again. I gotta call them up and say, now that you've made it so that my can't cat eat for the rest of the month, I need to cancel my, my policy. Um, I'd like to say it's they hurt me, but fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I should have canceled it, I didn't, I got hit again. Unfortunately, my kitty cat's the one I'm gonna be paying. I got enough food to last for like four days no money. If you could please check out my Amazon wish list and get some cat food off of there for me, that would be awesome. Please don't do it for me. I'm going to survive. I've got food stuff. I'm not asking you to help me. I'm asking you to help my kitty cat, Amelia. <sighs> if you could, that would be awesome. I am not demanding. I am only asking. Do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. I'm just asking if you could help, that would be awesome. She doesn't need to be punished because I was an idiot. So if you could, that would be awesome. If you can't, don't worry about it. I'll figure out something if I have to. So, yay. What else do I have on my list? Not a whole lot. There's this one last thing that I do want to talk about before I whip off into thanking people. This one is because I am a gamer. I have gamed my whole life. Tabletop role-playing games, and then when computers came around, I went straight into that. So I've loved computer games my whole life, and I've always been just thrilled at what video games were becoming, but I've almost turned my back entirely on them now just because of the capitalistic hellhole that video games have become. With, with companies like Activision and Electronic Arts and all these, there is, there's, there's no real hope. It's just a cash grab for them. As long as the big companies are strangleholding everything in search of the almighty dollar, video games are never gonna be anything more than they are. Hopefully, that promise will come back. I sincerely hope. I do love the smaller indie market because one thing that the big companies do is if they can't get all the money, they say, we don't even want to bother, which leaves a lot on the table for the smaller companies, the indie companies to come up and go, oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. We'll take this. We'll take all of this. Here, here, take what we have. And they make good things. 
So yeah, the indie market is good and thank goodness. So really, it's not that the computer stuff is dead and dying. The capitalistic hellhole part of it has ruined the potential. But the smaller companies that are still hungry, they're the ones that hold the promise. End of open up 24 hours where the comments my community tab. I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm just thanking you for having left the comment. Good, bad, and different. You took the time. You expended the calories. Thank you very much. If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. And even though I count American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand with my depression, fibro, ADHD, mourning, and more, I'm sometimes like I can remember anything at all. So calling out my Chrome, we have Les Kibot. Thank you very much. Lee Lee, greatly appreciated. And thank you for the info. We have Lucas Nordman. Thank you very much. Emil Stoltz. Thank thumbs up. Active Servo 12. Thumbs up and thank you. Underscore Cherry. Hey, it's good to see you in the comments. Denial. And good to see you as well. Christopher Thomas, and good to see you. Thumbs up, Sebastian Ferris. Very good to see you in the comments. Thank you. Russian Timing, good to see you in the comments. Ali Shabiri, well, damn, it's been a while. And it's good to see you in the comments. Thank you. Anunnaki GWUMC Wing, thank you very, very much. Swoopity Whoopity, <laughs> thank you very, very much. Colin Reisner, good to see you. Liking the covers, 4963, thumbs up. Telly, greatly appreciated. Apataldo, greatly appreciated. Conspo Lopez, it is very good to see you in the comments. Thank you very much, each and every one of you that has been for, for here for any length of time. Renee Tolly, thank you very, very much. Noah Geneva Brown, I am coming to see, coming to see, coming to look forward to your comments as well. Kathy Kitzkat, son of a gun, good to see you. I'm very, very sorry that you're having the issues that you are but I'm glad that, that you're doing okay-ish, and I hope it stays that way. Beep bop, thumbs up and thank you. Veltrum, I have no idea. My hands, I've forgotten entirely where I am. I can only hope I'm close. And Egum Fotis, I can only hope that I was close to 20 to 25. <laughs> As I stated, uh, with my brain, you know, there's no guarantee I was even close. Here's hoping. But thank you all so very much. You get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people. And that is appreciated. I am depressed. I am isolated. Well, as I've told my therapist, and he says is an important way to look at it, I am alone, but not lonely. I am separate, but not isolated. And that's, I function pretty well that way. So thank you all so very, very much. And if you could check out my various links down below, I have Twitter, Facebook, Patreon.com. If you could become a Patreon.com patron, like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. And if you'd like to help me out without sending money through the patronage, I have a PayPal link down below. And if you'd like to help me out without sending money, I have an Amazon wish list link as well with cat food, please, if you could. Cat food, hamster bedding, silly things, not silly things. If you could check it out, that would be very cool. Do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes. I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very, very much. If you could toss me a like, I appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. A definite thumbs up. And of course, if you could hit the notification bell on the subscription button, that would be very, very cool. Definitely a thumbs up. Whew, still a little out of breath. <laughs> Even when I relax and breathe more normally, if you talk, 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 talk like I do, well, you're supposed to breathe, but you can't breathe while you're speaking. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And of course, I still have the floppy non... What is the word? Non... It's not non-Euclidean. Non-Newtonian fluid uh, solid substance in the floppy banana. Thank you very much once again to whoever sent me this, this banana. It is very, very cool. Because it's soft and squishy, but if you do it fast, it it's not. <laughs> So, the lobster hat wearing duck head of judgment suffers from a surplus of scorn. It is ready, not eager but ready, to cast that scorn upon all whom it finds disappointing. 
do not disappoint the lobster hat wearing duck head of judgment. Its mockery is severe. The lobster hat wearing duck head of judgment suffers from a surplus of scorn. And of course, Black Lives Matter. I do not know why it is controversial to say we should not murder people in the streets because of the color of their skin, but oddly, in America, it is. And justice for everybody, the jack-booted, brown-shirted, fascist thugs in, in police uniforms who keep brutalizing and murdering American citizens in their homes and on their streets. They don't care if you are black, white, yellow, or brown. They will murder you. So, I've got this video here. I need a video. I need a video. I've got a video I need to record, edit, and render. So, I'm going to be busy, but I still need to call that insurance company and tell them to cancel my car insurance. I still need to call my son. Days pass like hours, and weeks pass like days. I am on a sled running down a hill. So please wash your hands, wear a mask, try not to touch your face, practice your social distancing, stay at home unless you have to go out. It's really the only way we're going to get through this until everyone can get a vaccine. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very good thing. Practice as much self-care as you can. Be as creative as you can, and I will see you on the flip side. Oh.